I see myself as a technician, as an engineer, and it's uh, my, my first priority every day to uh, think of how we can take the company further in terms of good sound. I know it's, it sounds trivial, but I believe, uh, as others would say, it's about reproducing uh, sound as true to nature as possible. The clarity in the mid-range, uh, the fact that you're, you, could, you could see the driver or the speaker as an acoustic lens, uh, so the speaker is a lens where you have very little distortion of, of the image, but also a very clear access to the message of the motive or the recording. Um, that's what we strive for. Uh, for me, it's uh, the detailing. Uh, you are able to place different instruments in the music, uh, different places in the room. The fact that you can um, give a good experience to people, uh, play some music that they never listened to before, and maybe they don't even like it on beforehand, but when you're playing the music for them, uh, they get this, uh, this amusement from, from, uh, from the music. That's amazing. <laughs> the most exciting bit is, in fact, <laughs> you would say the whole process from, uh, from the idea to a final product. If your speaker tells you stuff that is not exactly right, you're illusion of the perfect soundstage collapses and you start listening to a speaker. It's, it's actually that simple and, and the thing is it's hard to describe in words because once you've heard a speaker disappear it's not a discussion whether it disappears or not. It disappears and it disappears to anyone present. Some, some often you really get carried away about uh, uh, we, we meet uh, often at, at decision points to say, okay, is this sound approved or isn't it, or, or what are the points that we need to improve. But there have also been these uh, Friday afternoons where you don't want to go home because you just want to listen to this track or try this amplifier together with it. That is, uh, that's nice. That's actually great fun. When we make a product, we, we are going for, uh, for the best a test every time. Uh, that's quite important. So, so when we don't get uh, five stars in for example, uh, what Hi-Fi or other magazines, then we are disappointed. <laughs> that's uh, that's that's uh, actually how it is here. It's great actually to work with products that uh, people appreciate. It's it's really genuinely great to meet people that are happy about our products. Actually, this is uh, kind of my uh, dream uh, work. I have many years wanted to uh, design loudspeakers, so uh, so that's what probably what I will do. This is one of our listening rooms. Um, it's a room we use for product uh, tuning development. It can be hard work, but it's also uh, the place where you constantly get reminded what it's all about. It's about uh, having the music come alive. Three weeks before, you only have some, uh, some bits and pieces, and you didn't know what, it should, uh, what, what the outcome would be. You had an idea, but didn't know for sure what the outcome was. Then it's uh, amazing to see and hear what kind of stuff you can, you can build. Uh, I sign my name on a little uh, label who is put on the speaker and this label tells the customer, tells you that I've done this. I feel proud. It's done by me. The speakers are the link of the reproduction chain where most things can and will go wrong if you see it from an engineering perspective. So that's where we can create the most significant difference. And that's what we do and that's what we'll keep on doing.